In this video, we are going to discuss top 6 data analytics interview questions. These are beginner friendly questions and will check your foundational knowledge of the field and the role. This video is part of our ongoing interview series where we have covered a bunch of topics already. I will leave the links to these videos in the description. Now, let's jump into today's video. This question is, differentiate between data mining and data profiling. While they might sound similar, understanding the distinct purposes is essential for aspiring data analysts. Data mining acts like an explorer venturing into a vast unknown territory. It utilizes complex algorithms to deep dive into massive data sets, uncovering hidden patterns, trends, and relationships that might not be readily apparent at first glance. Imagine using data mining to discover buying habits in customer data or pinpointing trends in financial markets. Data profiling serves as the foundation for successful data mining. Data profiling meticulously examines the structure and quality of the data. It checks for details like data types, numbers, text, etc. Identifies missing values and ensures the data is unique and has no duplicates. Data profiling plays a vital role in preparing the data for analysis, akin to cleaning and organizing your tools before tackling a project. Data mining then leverages this clean data, utilizing sophisticated algorithms to unearth valuable insights and hidden trends. This question is, what is data wrangling? Well, imagine being presented with a disorganized toolbox. That's what raw data can be like. Data wrangling tackles this challenge by cleaning, structuring, and enriching the data, transforming it into a usable format for analysis. Data wrangling acts as the data's personal organizer. It meticulously cleans the data, removing errors and inconsistencies. It then structures the data into a consistent format, ensuring everything is organized for easy analysis. Finally, data wrangling might enrich the data by adding relevant information from other sources providing a more comprehensive picture. Data wranglers have a variety of tools at their disposal. Merging allows them to combine data from different sources like customer information and purchase history. Grouping helps organize data into categories while sorting arranges data in a specific order, alphabetical, chronological, etc. etc. These are just a few examples. Data wrangling techniques are vast and versatile. This question is, what are the technical tools used in data analysis? Let's understand the broad categories of these tools. Imagine a giant filing cabinet specifically designed for organized data. That's essentially what an RDBMS is. Data analysts use these tools to access and work with data stored in a structured format, like customer information or financial records. Data can be overwhelming. That's where data visualization comes in. These tools allow data analysts to transform raw data into clear and easy to understand charts, graphs, and dashboards. Think of it as turning complex information into a visually compelling story. Sometimes data analysis requires a bit of coding magic. Programming languages like Python, R, and SPSS empower data analysts to automate repetitive tasks, perform complex calculations, and even build data models. These can be powerful tools for uncovering hidden patterns and trends within the data. Finally, data analysis is all about uncovering insights, but those insights need to be communicated effectively. Presentation tools like PowerPoint allow data analysts to share their findings with a wider audience in a clear, concise, and engaging way. This question is, what are the best methods for data cleaning? Data cleaning is essential for accurate data analysis. Let's explore some key data cleaning methods. Duplicate data entries can be a real headache for data analysts. They can inflate your results and skew your analysis. Data cleaning methods help identify and remove these duplicates, ensuring a clean and accurate data set. Inaccurate data is the enemy of good data analysis. Data cleaning methods focus on ensuring data accuracy. This can involve using validation rules to catch errors during data entry, as well as maintaining consistent data types throughout the data set. Data can also come in all shapes and sizes, and inconsistent formatting can create problems during analysis. Data cleaning methods help establish clear and consistent formatting for things like dates, addresses, and other important fields in your data. 
The earlier you clean your data, the smoother your data analysis will be. Data cleaning methods can even be implemented at the point of data entry, where normalization rules can help ensure clean and consistent data from the very beginning. By following these data cleaning methods, you can transform your messy data into a clean and organized foundation for drawing insightful conclusions. This question is, what is the significance of exploratory data analysis? Exploratory data analysis or EDA is a crucial first step in any data analysis project. It's where you get to know your data intimately, uncovering hidden patterns and trends. Data can be a treasure trove of hidden insights. EDA acts like a metal detector for data analysts, helping them uncover unexpected patterns and trends that might not be readily apparent at first glance. These insights can be invaluable for informing your analysis and decision making. Before you build a house, you need a strong foundation. The same is true for data analysis. EDA helps you assess the quality and trustworthiness of your data. Are there any errors or inconsistencies? Is the data missing any crucial information? EDA ensures your data is a solid and reliable foundation for building your analysis and models. Imagine a detective narrowing down their suspects. Through EDA, you can identify the most relevant features or variables within your data. By focusing on these key features, you can make better decisions about which ones to use when building your models. By getting to know your data through EDA, you gain a deeper understanding of its strengths and weaknesses. This builds trust in your data and ultimately leads to better decisions about your machine learning project. This question asks, explain descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive analytics. Data analytics is a powerful tool for businesses, and understanding how these analytics techniques work together can give businesses a significant advantage. Descriptive analytics acts like a car's rear view mirror. It looks at past data to understand what has already happened. Techniques like data aggregation and data mining help answer questions like, how much ice cream did we sell yesterday? Or which flavors were most popular? This historical data provides a crucial foundation for further analysis. Predictive analytics uses statistical models and forecasting techniques to analyze past data and predict future trends. Building on the insights from descriptive analytics, it can answer questions like, how much ice cream are we likely to sell tomorrow? Or will a new flavor be popular? This allows businesses to anticipate future demand and make informed decisions. Prescriptive analytics uses simulation algorithms and optimization techniques to answer the question, what should we do? In our ice cream example, prescriptive analytics might suggest lowering prices to boost sales of a specific flavor or adjusting production quantities based on predicted demand. This helps businesses take action to optimize their outcomes. These three types of data analytics are like a powerful trio. By harnessing all three, businesses can make data-driven decisions that lead to success. So guys, that's all we have for you today. If you have any more questions, let us know in the comments and we will get back to you. Subscribe to our channel for more such content. Goodbye and happy prepping.